Yes, Amar Goranga Prabhu, please tell us about... Uh, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Dhanavad Prana. So again, we are starting with the... This slok number one. All are old. Any newcomers are there now? Hare Krishna. Yes. Prabhuji, Vijay Kumar Prabhu is the newcomer today. Achha, achha. Thik hai, thik hai. So that has been a, the 5,000 years back on the battlefield of Kurukshetra, which is also called as Dharmakshetra. A big battle was fought <clears throat> between the Kauravas and the Kuruvamsha, that is Kauravas and the Pandavas. Bhagavad Gita is also actually Gitopani because it's a part of the Upanishad also. So it may be also called as a Gitopanishad. Basically, we have seen initially that basically the Bhagavad Gita deals with the five subject matters. What are subject matter? Ishwara, Jiva, Prakriti, Kala and Karma. So on these five subject matters, the entire Bhagavad Gita 700 plus slokas, verbs, are based on these five principles. Ishvara, Jiva, Prakriti, Kala and Karma, that is activities. So all the <clears throat> 18 chapters of Bhagavad Gita, which describes about 1700, 700 plus slokas, are the basic is these five principles. So let us start this. The first verse is very important. That was the verse spoken by the Dutrashta only. And what the verse is? Dharma Kshetre Kurukshetre. Samaveta Yujusavaha. Mamakaha Pandavascha Aiva. Kim a Kurvata Sanjaya. Sanjaya was a secretary of Dutrashta who has been blessed with the divine power by his spiritual master. Veda Vyasji. And therefore, sitting in one room also, he could see what is being happened in the battlefield that he could describe, that he could narrate to his master. So here the question is asked, Kim a Kurvata Sanjaya? What did they do? Who? My sons and the Pandus. See, he says, Mamakaha Pandavascha. My sons and Pandavas. That means initially we find the mentality of the Dhritarashtra is differentiating. Dhritarashtra is a king and the entire Praja, the entire people belong, they are his sons. Now here the sons are his Pandu, his brothers are only, but then also he is differentiating. Mamakaha Pandavas Chaiva. What did my sons and Pandavas sons did? What are they doing? The question is foolish actually. <laughs> Suppose somebody gives me a food, I am hungry. And then somebody asks me, what did you do then? The <laughs> question is foolish. I will eat it. What I will do it? So with the idea of fighting, say, Yuyusava, the word is with Dharma Kshetra Kute, Samavetaha Yuyusava. Yuyusava means desiring to fight and Samaveta all assembled. Trashta knows that all assembled, my sons and the Pandavas, Pandu's sons have assembled here with a desire to fight on the battlefield of Kurukshetra, which is also called a Dharmakshetra, which is also called a religious place, Veda described as a religious place. What did they do? The question itself is shows that he is worried. Uh, he is doubtful. He thought that the Kurukshetra is a very pious place. It's a pious ground. There's a, there is a quite possibility that my sons and Pandu's Pandu's sons would come at a settlement. Then the divine nature of this particular land will probably affect my sons also. Pandu's sons are already religious. Probably both would come to a settlement. Let us not fight and let us divide the kingdom. So that thought was made. So he was doubtful whether, they, whether my sons would become victorious or not. See, those people who are committing sinful reactions, people who are always doing politics, diplomacy, they are always actually worried. <laughs> they are always worried. They are frustrated. And in frustration, they do so many things. So here, 
he supported all plans of his duryodhana and his brothers and that is how the particular war has arisen actually we know that the kingdom belong to whom the kingdom belong to bishma let us now little bit take the background this kingdom of hastinapur which actually ruled the entire planet actually ruled the entire place belong to bishma but bishma remained as a brahmachari and he did not marry so his nephews that is dhritarashtra and the pandus were the inheritors after the death of pandu there was a conspiracy dhritarashtra wanted and he thought actually this kingdom belongs to me because i am elder son but some of the other i am not able to rule because i am a blind so i could not get this kingdom now your brother is dead so if i cannot inherit it then why not my sons this was the politics so prabhupad always says that this is the nature of the material world this is the nature of the material world there is a politics there is a enviousness there is a jealousy so material world means this all diplomacy is there politics is there jealousy is there enviousness is there that is the nature of the material world but spiritual world means exactly opposite there is no politics there is no jealousy there is no enviousness that is spiritual world uh, that is why we are urdhva mulam we are seeing the shloka urdhva mulam adashakam this this material world is exactly replica of what is the spiritual world so what happens spiritual world spiritual world is nothing but sat chit and ananda here exactly is asat no knowledge and dukkha urdhva mulam adakshakam that this spiritual world or this material world is exactly a replica it is nothing but inverted reflection of what is called as a a banyan tree that is what's compared so this spiritual world whatever the qualities are this spiritual world exactly opposite qualities are available in the material world so material world means nothing but politics jealousy diplomacy envious means and so many other things even in the heavenly planets also even in the heavenly planets also these things are there politics is there even in the animal kingdom we have seen in bhagavat also so many times that kathas are there whenever somebody wants to ashwamedh yajna that ashwa that horse is there indra always used to come and take out that horse he used to take that horse and go away because he is worried <laughs> if this man perform hundreds ashwa yajna then probably my particular throne will be taken out every time you will find every time so many kathas are in bhagavat very time somebody sees for ashwamedh he indra job is to take away that kidnap that horse and go ha huh. so here we say doesn't matter here actually the dhritarashtra's brothers sons are there any own sons are there <laughs> so massara is always there massara means envious names one man is envious of the others and it doesn't matter if they are brothers of family in fact in family members brother also enviousness is there quarrels are there so here are the family members utrashtra and pandu and the two brothers and their sons but there is a enviousness that is how prabhu had always as far as this first lecture is his first flow is because he always describes the nature of the material world but the krishna conscious movement is not for the krishna conscious movement is not for persons who are envious very important prabhupar says krishna conscious movement is not there for those persons who are envious who are jealous it is a movement to train the people how to become non envious because if somebody becomes a pure devotee the first quality he will get that he will become non envious he will not he will not be jealous about anybody uh, he will treat everybody with a samadarshi vidya vinay sampanne brahmane gavi hastini shuni chai vasha pake samana samadarshi nayu a a devotee of the lord or a, pras, a, pras, a person who is a uh, who is person who is a krishna conscious parali krishna conscious he will always develop those qualities which are there in the god he will not become god but he will become godly so krishna conscious movement is always trains us to make us non envious 
don't become don't play any part be simply arjavam arjavam means simplicity people the, the devotees are always simplicity they do not play any politics no inviousness jealousy means tropa say that you think that i am the rightful owner of something else but somebody else has achieved it and i should possess it that is called as ah, why why he could get it i couldn't get it i should get it that is jealousy actually the government should be equal the government should be equal to everyone just as god is equal to everyone the so god doesn't differentiate samaho sarva bhuteshu samaham sarva bhuteshu he say i am equal to everybody i am not envious i am no somebody is not very dear to me somebody is not very and i am not envious of i am equal to all so government should be equal dhritarashtra was a government running government he was a king he was as good as government and he should be equal to everyone just as god is equal to everyone because the king as you know we have seen evam parampara praptam raja yarsho so vidura hasa kalena mat see there is a verse in the gita also after we have seen that the rajas the kings were actually called as raja shri uh, or naradeva they were called as. they are actually representative of the god the king or the government head must be representative of the god so according to the vaidik vaidik injunction according to vaidik civilization the king is offered actual respect to the level of the supreme personality of god because they are the representative of the god they have to take the care of, as a trustee they have to take the care of their people and therefore king is also called as raja rishi which means god or another deva it means that means god in the human form he is a god actually in the human form is like prabhu ramchandra was a king huh? he was a god he, he was actually god like that so many we have seen raja janak every all rajas we have seen they always took the entire care of their uh, people in the country so he cannot be jealous of any any living entity king has to be very uh, he samadarshi with all people but here we find dhritarashtra do his his own brothers pandu sons were he was jealous so here we see that dhritarashtra is jealous and krishna knew that he could not provide good work so krishna knew that he could not provide dhritarashtra as a government as a government authority cannot provide a good governance and we know that before the battle of kurukshetra actually krishna requested his uncle akrura you know akrura the good devotee and he was uncle of the krishna he requested him uh, to go to the uh, uh, to go to hastinapur and find out the situation because krishna wanted to take the stock of situation how things are going on what is been going on in the minds of dhritarashtra so he sent him and then akrura understood and akrura when he remained with the, he stayed there for some days and he could understand he could make out that dhritarashtra was planning something very bad thing is planning and then he talked to him also ha huh? ki why are you implicating why are you doing all these things why are you playing politics why are you being jealous with your own brothers sons your nephews krishna is not krishna doesn't want this so he gave the message of krishna krishna is not interested the what the way you are planning is not interested actually although dhritarashtra knew that krishna is the supreme personality of god it then he replied i know that i am doing a very bad thing i am committing sinful reactions i am planning what i am planning is not good and i also not the kurpa krishna is supreme person but i am some of the other i cannot cooperate i cannot take the orders of krishna i cannot i will not do what krishna wants that was the reply given to the krura by dhritarashtra so he said clearly that i am not interested in making any settlement between the my brothers between the my sons and the pandus sons so that is the position of this is the dhritarashtra provides us a position of a materialistic person this is now that today there are many dhritarashtras are so this is the position of a materialistic person a materialistic person knows that he is sinful he knows that whatever he is doing is wrong but he cannot check himself he knows he is doing wrong he is committing sinful reactions but he cannot check he cannot control himself because he doesn't have a control over his mind 
ध्यायते विषयान पुनसा संगत ते सुप जायते संगत जायते कामा कामा क्रोधा भी जायते क्रोधा भवती सम्मोहा सम्मोहा स्पृति भी ब्रह्मा तिबंशाद बुद्धि नाशो बुद्धि नाशत रणशति दैट व्हेन यू कंटेम्प्लेंट ऑन इस सेंस ऑब्जेक्ट्स सो हियर द विषय हियर सेंस ऑब्जेक्ट इज द थ्रोन ऑफ द थ्रोन ऑफ द हस्तिनापुर and constantly was thinking i should get so he was contemplating on the throne of the uh, hastinapur and he constantly was in the thought that somehow i should get it and the, this verse which i said says that dhayate vishyan punsa sangat tesu pajayate sang see when you attach with any sense objects anything anything or a, whether it is a uh, the money or is it is a it is a uh, state or it is a throne you develop attachment and you don't get it the crowd is developed if crowd is the, if the crowd is not controlled then you will everything will be go down ultimately you will lose your intelligence and intelligence is lost somebody will fall down so this exactly 2.62 2.63 applies here in case of dhrashta iska patan hua tha he was totally fallen down because of its nature because he couldn't control his uh, mind Like a thief knows that if he steals, he will be arrested and punished. But still, he steals. He comes out of the jail again, starts stealing. So when the planning was complete, what happened? The war field was set up at the Dharma Kshetra, Kuru Kshetra, as we say. And Dharma Kshetra indicate it's a Kuru Kshetra is a place. Dharma, the word Dharma Kshetra state that Kuru Kshetra is a pilgrimage. It's a place of pilgrimage. It's a very pious place. Ah, uh, in two thousand. I think twelve. We have gone there. Somebody maybe a big match. We have gone there when we went to Vrindavan. On coming back, we went to Kurukshetra. It's a station on near Haryana, in the Haryana state. Very nice place it is. People still go there to observe some ritualistic performance. People do and observe some ritualistic also. So if you want to perform ritualistic ceremonies, one can go to Kurukshetra because it's a very pious place. we also seen that particular tree where the uh, arjuna uh, chariot was being uh, installed there and uh, uh, krishna was actually addressing the bhagavad gita that particular place also is uh, it, one can go and see where actually bhagavad gita was spoken so dhutrashtra says samaveta yuyusava mamakaha what he says mamaka means my sons and pandava means my brothers pandu sons Samaveta means they have ascended, and what is the purpose? What he says? What is the purpose? What what they do? The purpose is use sava. They have a desire to fight, fighting. So both parties are desiring to fight. So they are assembled. Then question is why the Trishta is asking. This is particular. This is this type of explanation given in all all preachers will find. Ki why is asking such questions? <laughs> why they are asking some questions? Ki ma kurvata means what they they do? Kya karne? Kya kar rahe? Kya karenge? शादी करने को लड़का लड़की गए सब हॉल में जम गए तो क्या करने वाले ऐसा क्वेश्चन पूछ सकता है कोई क्या नहीं क्या करने गए शादी करने गए शादी करने वाले हैं उसमें क्वेश्चन की क्या जरूरत है सो ही आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन बिकॉज ही वॉज लिटिल डाउटफुल बिकॉज दिस बॉयज आफ्टर एसिक बिकॉज ही थॉट दिस बॉयज आफ्टर असेंबलिंग एट धर्म क्षेत्र कुरुक्षेत्र दे माइट चेंज देअर माइंड वाय बिकॉज दिस प्लेस इज अ वेरी very pious place and probably there can be effect of this particular place on the minds of my sons as well as the pandu sons and probably they would come to a settlement that probably they would say no, no no let us not fight let us divide and let us be peaceful happy so therefore he was very anxious what will happen hmm. they would change the decision therefore he is asking the question otherwise there is no uh, need to asking question just now when i said Somebody has given me food, and somebody asking me, "What will you do with the food?" Then definitely the question is foolish because I am going to eat it. Is it not? So uh, I am going to eat it definitely. So this is a foolish question. I would eat it. So the question that what did they do? Ha. Huh. So this question, Dutra Tal said that he is. See one thing is he, he was not only Dutra Tal was physically blind. He was blind, but uh, spiritually also is blind. See, we can understand somebody may be physically blind, huh? but at least spiritually there may be some development. Huh? Nothing develop, nothing prevents us from making spiritual development. Surdas was blind, but he was a great devotee of the Lord. 
It was a great devotee. There were so many, uh, uh, so many devotees who were blind, but they uh, daily used to come to the temple. They were very, uh, uh, they were very uh, devotee of the Lord. So that doesn't prevent anybody. You may be having any physical disability, but nobody prevents you from becoming the devotee of the Lord. But Dutrashtra was not so. He was physically blind. At the same time, he was spiritually also he blind. So Dutrashtra asked this question. Because he was doubtful whether the sun would change his mind. And then he also was probably uh, doubtful. Since this place is very pious, probably my sons would not be victorious. And Pandus would become victorious. So there were two doubts. Either there can be a settlement or either there can be my sons becoming or my Pandus sons can become victorious. So out of this curiosity, out of this anxiety, he is asking the question. So this is how... We have seen the first, uh, the verse is very simple and it can be explained in this way only. There are also, Prabhupada has also given so many lectures. We can read all those things and uh, there are, uh, then some other also preachers have given some uh, versions on this particular. Uh, so that is all right. Uh, any questions are there being stalled? Hare Krishna. Dilamanar Prabhu, please uh, close recording.